What's going on guys? Gomer's here, and so are you. Back in the Gomer Cove after about a week, uh, I feel rejuvenated, revitalized. You might notice it, seems kind of naked in here, the cactus, I don't know. The mood isn't right, something feels off, the, uh, the ambience uh, is not set. I'll tell you a funny story, uh, maybe a, a little too funny for the first 30 seconds. YouTube might not approve of it, but um, yeah, my voice sounds terrible. You're just going to have to get used to that. Uh, but who's not been terrible? This guy's we're going to talk about today because we have roster update predictions, baby. Uh, and I think this could be the biggest week for sure this year, if not... Uh, uh, quite some time uh, in recent memory because we have a lot of potential new diamonds uh, as always let me know in the comment section who's going up who's gonna get that diamond shield in their top right corner uh, and leave a like and subscribe uh, if you guys are new to the channel that being said let's go ahead and talk about uh, what we're gonna say uh, roster update predictions as always I feel compelled to tell you that I am invested on these cards um, and we shall get into this one uh, very long update list uh, so we can't spend too long on too many players um, first of which like it or not the mighty midget than Ken uh, Jose Altuve is uh, proven that he is not a uh, one trash can wonder, I guess. Uh, he's been really good. Like him or not, he's hit eight home runs in the last 15 games at an 83 overall right now. Uh, he's hitting 264 in those last 15. And uh, I just don't see how you can keep him away from being diamond, I'll be honest. The power at 71 and 67. Uh, the market's kind of already there on him. I personally don't really see a way that he does not get up to diamond. Uh, that's my opinion on the matter. So like a 90% chance. Uh, right alongside another 90% chance is Carlos Correa, who has one overall higher. And uh, he's going to get paid. You know, Trevor's story might be a little broke uh, come February. Or, you know, maybe he won't get signed. I'm sure he's going to get signed. Hopefully the Rockies fucking deal him. Jesus Christ. What a Imagine playing on the Diamondbacks, though. Spoiler, we don't have any Diamondbacks on the upgrades list. Um, Carlos Correa has been great. 325, 650 within the last 15. Um, splits all look great. I believe he's hitting 280 against righties on the year, which is far better than 60 contact would indicate. Uh, he actually might be guaranteed. And again, the way to look at this, it's still 1600 about guaranteed studs. I think there's no way that Correa or Altuve do not get up to diamond, especially Correa. Uh, so that's pre-stubs if you want to look at it that way. It's not a huge profit margin, but it is um, assurance, I guess, that you're going to hit. Marcus Simeon, for example, I think uh, both of those Astros are a lot more comfortable than Marcus Simeon, uh, who's hitting 245 in the last 15, but he does have five home runs. Uh, Simeon has been really good, of course, this year, had the, uh, you know, May POTM card, won the Player of the Month for the American League, and uh, yeah, proving that he is who he is in 2019. He is that guy, pal. Uh, Marcus Simeon, I do think is going to get it. I have him at about a 70% chance with his splits on the total overall year i could see where they uh kind of stiff him but i don't think it's gonna happen 70 percent chance uh still pretty likely you know if you're talking about uh looking at the weather report 70 percent chance raining probably gonna fucking happen moving on to the national league and this is where we start to dip below 50 percent so it's kind of iffy here's one that i do love though because gene segura's cost of entry is nothing you can put buy orders in and you are guaranteed to break even right now. He's going for 1,000 stubs. Gene Segura has been great. In the last 15, he's hitting 387. On the season, he's still hitting 330 something. Uh, the problem for him, he doesn't hit for a ton of power. He has a decent slug, but that's because he has a high batting average. So the slug is bound to be not terrible. That being said, he has four extra base hits in the last 15. An 84 and 85 contact just does not do him justice. I have a 35% chance at him going diamond, but definitely getting at least a plus one. Staying in the same division, we're talking about Ozanold. Sure, that nickname's gonna catch on. The switch hitting sensation. 
who probably should just stick to left-handed hitting, Ozzy Albies. Uh, that's the only reason why he's not there. 261, 478 in the last 15. I don't think he's going to get it. I have him at about another 35% chance. Uh, there's just no real upgrade in terms of right-handers. I think his power against lefties could maybe get boosted a little bit. Um, it's hard to tell with the inside edge. He has plus nines on contact and power against lefties. That gets him a plus one. I think he could get like a plus two power against lefties, but I think he has to prove himself a little bit more against righties in order to get it. The Fresh Prince of Chavez Ravine, hopefully, I don't know, is he married? Hopefully he doesn't get caught in an entanglement uh, like his uh, you know, same name counterpart. Now, hopefully if he has a son, he makes better music than Jaden. <laughs> Will Smith, uh, I don't think he's going to get it this week, but I'll give him a plus one. 25% uh, chance. He has three home runs, five extra base hits. Slugging real well, just has to hit better against lefties, but I did want to talk about him. And also 25% chance I also do have for Starling Marte. Uh, missed a little bit of time. I think he still needs a little bit more of a sample. Uh, he could get it, but I just don't see it this week. 364, 523, that's good. Um... I'll give him like a 40% chance. I'll give him a little bit higher. But I think there is better investments than Starling Marte. Moving on to our brand new golds. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, starter in the outfield for the All-Star game or else it is rigged. Cedric Mullins has been outlandishly good. Um, to the point where he is guaranteed 100% chance at gold. 372, 814 slug. What? Nine extra base hits, five home runs. He's getting there for sure. And Alberto Montesi. Uh, weird season for him. He started hurt. Uh, he came back, did well. He got hurt. He came back, and he's doing well still. He is inevitable, and he is uh, inevitably going to get gold this week. Just needs a plus one. Uh, only like 35 ABs, but he's hitting 344th and 813 uh, slug. Uh, yeah, uh, he, he's going to get a plus one. Uh, I'll count him in for that. So like a 95% chance, if not higher. Uh, here we have one, one of my favorite investments of the week. That's going to be Rymel Tapia uh, for the Colorado Rockies, uh, who I think have won like five straight somehow. Um, they didn't even play the Diamondbacks either. Uh, Dodgers are getting those Mickey Mouse wins right now. Uh, 396 batting average. He's uh, hitting over 300 on the season. Uh, 547 slug, again, in due part to that batting average. But eight extra base hits. Uh, Going to be plenty enough for a plus one. Have an 85% chance at gold. And still a good amount of room to invest on him. Here we have a player I like a lot. A lot of people aren't looking at him because he plays for Pittsburgh. So SDS, if you don't give him a goal here, it just proves you don't watch baseball, which would be pretty damning, but would prove my prior beliefs. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Brian Reynolds has been great. He was outstanding in his rookie year in 2019. Um, was poor in a weird season last year. 80% uh, percent chance at gold. Uh, I think there's a good chance he's going to be an all-star, maybe even contend for starting in the outfield for the all-star game. 341, 683, slash line in the last 15. He's been doing great. Here is probably my favorite investment that you guys uh, can possibly make. It's going to be Christian Vasquez. He is another one of those guys that has beachfront real estate on the 79 and a half overall the kind of guys that just aren't good enough at baseball to have a hot streak good enough to where people are going to really pay attention but can sneakily hit 308 in the last 15 days and that's christian vasquez who has 44 contact against lefties and I think that's all he needs is a boost there. And he's going to get the plus one up to gold. And he is going for nothing right now. I love this investment. I am heavily invested in on him. And uh, yeah, I have like a 65% chance, 70% chance at gold. And again, very low risk. So I like that one a lot. Jonathan Skull, uh, I'll be honest, I kind of wrote him off. But he's going to have probably one of the best POTM cards uh, we've ever seen. He has a fantastic swing and he is killing it. Weird thing with him, he plays first base. Will he change his position? I don't think so, but that would easily move him into an 80 overall on top of the offensive boost because he's hitting 347 with a 653 slash line. Four home runs. Jonathan Scope, invest on him, pretty cheap as well. Last one I want to talk about, Gio Urshela, one of the one players hitting well in New York. Uh, 79 overall, just needs a plus one. You can see by his IE, uh, if you trust Inside Edge, doesn't really need much. 
He had a two home run game, 553 slugging percentage in the last 15. Have him at about a 65% chance as well. Uh, 600 stubs, not too bad cost of investment there. Uh, we're going to have to go pretty quick here. Gomer's uh, voice cracking and Gomer's taking too long. Zach Wheeler, he's guaranteed 100% chance. If you want 900 stubs for doing absolutely nothing, put some buy orders in on Zach Wheeler. He is guaranteed to get it. Uh, Shohei. I don't think he's a diamond pitcher, but he's damn sure a diamond player. That being said, he had a pretty good start. It was against the Detroit Tigers, so how much stock are we putting into? I think he's going to go diamond. 65, 70% chance at him getting it. I just think he's been so good this year as a complete player. Yeah, he might not be an 85 pitcher, but it's kind of ridiculous that these stats don't correlate to overall. So I would not be mad at it whatsoever. I'm a big Otani fan. I think people get me mixed in with the wrong crowd that I have something against him. I like him a lot. Craig Kimbrell. I hate talking about relievers because they are so inconsistent. Craig Kimbrell has been SDS in you know, rewarding them. Craig Kimbrell's been uh, quite the model of consistency uh, this year. Uh, 0.19 whip, eight strikeouts, one walk, no hits given up. Uh, six for six on save opportunities. That's like five and a half, uh, five and a third innings, like a 50% chance. I could see it just as much as I could not see it. My general rule of thumb with the relievers, if you're invested on them, don't uh, buy out. Same thing I'm going to say with uh, Gio Gallegos here. But I think there's typically better investments to be made, unless it's very obvious that they're going to go up. Gallegos has played like a diamond the last three years. Is he going to get it? Shit, that's a good question. I have him at a 35% chance. He's doing his thing. We're going to have to see. I think there's better investments. He's 2.1k, so it's not that much of a risk, but that's just kind of my take on it. Uh, for the Brewers, as if they need another diamond, uh, Freddy Peralta is getting really close. I don't think he's going to get a 20% chance. He still needs to prove that he's going to walk a few guys, uh, walk fewer guys, rather. He's walking quite a few as is, but his last couple starts have been better, making improvements. Uh, 84 overall, so not quite yet, but getting closer. Super speed this, golds. We have two new ones, 90% chance. Not too hard to imagine here. Pablo Lopez and Trevor Ryan. Rogers, clear favorites to both go gold not too much room but uh yeah kind of claustrophobic uh for the astros here we're gonna have uh ryan presley 623 stubs i'm very confident on this i know i just said i don't like doing relievers but i do think he's gonna get it uh tyler maley for the reds if that's not how you pronounce it i'm gonna look real dumb holy shit he needs three points i'll give like a 60 percent chance 50 to 60. He's been dominant this year. Three points is kind of a lot, but I think he does deserve gold. And if he doesn't get it this time, he's only 282 stubs. This is a great investment to make. Just might not be guaranteed for this week, uh, as uh, we like to say. Uh, so for the Giants, talking about Jake McGee, who knew he was going to be good again, huh? Um, yeah, again, another reliever. 79 overall, needs one point. 50% chance he's been real good. One more reliever. Uh, we have Richard Rodriguez, who I think has about like a 35-40% chance. Uh, biggest claim to fame is he limits hits. Um, not so much as of late. Uh, opponent batting average at 267 within the last 15 days. He's starting to strike out a few more guys, uh, so that stat needs to move up. Um, I'll give him a plus one. I don't think he's going to get 80 overall quite yet. Then uh, just throwing names out there. Diamond Watch, Jared Walsh. He's not going to get it this week, I don't think, but keep an eye on him. Then Gold Watch, I want to talk about David Fletcher, Max Stassi, Tommy Pham, Mike Yastrzemski, and Aaron Savale. So just uh, verbal garbage, just throwing names out there for you to keep an eye on. Um, so yeah, that's roster update predictions. Probably longer than Gomer expected, but his voice is a little out of shape. His mind is a little out of the loop because uh, it's been a week and I've recorded two videos. So uh, we're going to have news. Uh, Gomer news way past noon. That's going to be in a few hours. Stay tuned. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'm going to stop the recording now.